Welcome back to another episode, Times Radical. Today, I have a special treat for you all. A 16523 Rolex Daytona with the 4030 movement. Let's take a closer look. So I probably only service one of these watches once a year. And I do have another 4030 Zenith watch repair video on my channel. Let's see if I could link it in the description. But this is something that I didn't cover in that video. This is the gear train bridge. And what we have here is the crown wheel with core assembly. Now all these pieces fit underneath the gear train bridge. However, the screws are installed through the top. Three screws go right there. So the question is, how do we secure the pieces from the bottom while screwing them in from the top? Well, I'm gonna show you. This little dowel piece of wood I made put it right in my bench block. And you can just see how I do it right now. Crown wheel core bushing. Give it a little grease. I might grease it a little more than I should, but that's because this watch probably won't get serviced for a long time after this servicing. And these parts can really wear down and there are no more replacement parts being manufactured by Rolex at the moment. So I want to make sure we give this watch a good overhaul. This is the crown wheel. have this real thin brass shim Pick it up on my erotico so I don't scratch it or bend it with my tweezers or touch it with my fingers so now we have to line up the three holes, just like that. Now that hole in the center is kind of elongated and that's for a reason because underneath the bridge there is a raised portion that fits right into that elongated piece. And these holes in a triangular pattern are not symmetrical. And actually you can see now I don't have the bridge in the right orientation. So it's not going on. And it, and it will not until I figure out that I need to turn it around. So it looks like I realize the error of my ways. And I'll just rotate the bridge to get me where I need to go.
snapped right into place. Now here's the tricky part. These screws are so tiny. And I believe they are a little magnetized. As well as this screwdriver. It's been magnetized all week. I don't know why I haven't demagged it yet. But that's what I'm working with. different screwdriver make it easy on myself this time First one's always the most difficult. So, once we have the third one in, we can lift the bridge, find a safe place to grab it, and check out the underside. Now there is a little spillover with the oil, but the wheel is free, and you can see the core is, it's just like a puzzle, right where it needs to be. Uh, excess grease, I'm just going to give it a little dab with the Rodico. Nice little Rodico job. And that's it. That's what I got for you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This is a little wooden stump you can make. Just drill a hole and put a peg wood post in it. And it'll make your life a little easier when you're working on a 4030 and you need to install the crown wheel core. So thanks for watching. And you can always remove the dowel just like that. Sounds radical.